for giving the good introduction of mine. Um, at the outset, the respected Vice President of the ITS Group, Mr. Rapit Chada, and very vibrant and dynamic Director of IT and UG Campus of Institute of Technology and Science, ITS, my beloved student or whatever you can tell and one of my most nearest and dearest to my heart, Dr. Sunil Kumar Pandeji and the vibrant and dynamic vice principal of this UG campus, Dr. Nancy Sarmaji and the, all the eminent speakers from covering different industries as well as the academia, uh, including Dr. Upkar Singh, Dr. Asutosh Singh, and Dr. Satish Rai and Dr. Ma Mr. Malik and moreover our most beloved Mr. Gautam Hajari from UK, the technical director of GSM who had been kind enough to support us in many times in disseminating the knowledge to the youth masses and the aspirants in the process of organizing of our 700 plus webinars throughout the country with the chain of which, of course, Dr. Sunil Pandey is also a part of that. And without him, it cannot be imagined that uh, under our uh, leadership and our group, more than 700 national, international webinars, seminars, and uh, conferences in virtual mode, as well as the short-term training program, faculty development program, and many more programs that we have conducted throughout the country. Today, of course, I'm privileged and I feel myself proud enough to appear in the banner of the Institute of Technology and Science on this great and prestigious national summit on a very vital and pertinent theme on the data science, that to the business landscape. And obviously I must have to congratulate first to the organizer of this great national summit in the virtual mode for choosing such a nice topic, data science, and for the deliberations and discussions, and which is the core theme of the today's National Summit. I once again thank the organizer and wishing them all the best, and first with, and express my gratitude and thankfulness uh, for their vibrancy and dynamism on conducting so many activities under the banner of the ITS, and which is very regularly informed to me by Dr. Sunil Pandey. My dear friends, to before going to discuss the data science and how the data science plays an important role today in the business landscape, particularly when we do feel that the volume of data has been explored in such a big way and that is the exponential growth in the information and data from day to day. We must have to discuss regarding the rapid changes in the field of computer science and information technology to which we are the core player. My dear friends, everybody might be knowing before 7.5 decades, or you can tell 7.5 decades back in the 1946, when first digital computer got incepted in the Pennsylvania University of United States of America by two young electrical engineering professors, James Eckert and John Makule, and having the size of 500 square feet and the integration of only 18,000 circuits, 18,000 electronic tubes and having the speed of only 5,000 calculations per second. Perhaps it is the technology which have grown in such a fast manner. No other technology in the world has been grown such a fast manner. And so far as the changes happen to the technology, the changes are quite continuous and changes are quite frequent. Even if what Professor Naik will be telling now, after five minutes, that concept might be obsolete and that concept might be outdated. That is the pace of change in this particular technology, computer science and information technology. That is why we define the changes in this particular technology, not as the change, rather we tell the changes become the constant to the computer science and information technology. You imagine having the calculation of only 5,000 calculation per second, and today we are in the calculation, we are making that with trips and tera instruction per second or peta instruction per second, and the computer was capable only in the storing capacity of some bytes and kilobytes 
and now this Dr. Sunil has told that in by the end of 2020 and 22, that will be a requirement of 80 zettabytes of the space and imagine. And when we talk of a zettabyte, that means 10 to the power 21. That means it is 1 billion of the trillion characters, 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power 12. Imagine what in such a manner how, how the rapid speed of changes is being happening to this technology. My dear friends, we all know at the time of the inception of the second generation computer in 1956, the artificial intelligence which is taking the center point in every kinds of application today in the field of computer science and information technology, it is not a very latest concept or new concept that has been originated in 1956, the artificial intelligence project, when in the first time in the first time in the United States of America, the first medical expert system got designed by considering 1,000 of the doctors and their minds have been studied by the knowledge worker or the knowledge engineers and all possible disease and their symptoms and the analytic capability have been collected and scrutinized and, and stored in the computer's memory. That means the computer became able to store the minds of the 1,000 years doctor, the first medical expert system. There is no doubt the artificial range of the artificial intelligence have been widened from time to time and it has got more empowered and by the, by the, as per the requirements. And I do remember a great standard from the Swami Vivekananda, what Swami Ji has told that uh, necessity is the mother of invention and every cover is uncovered when it is discovered. Pratyek The in the pandemic period. Imagine just two years back when India got faced the pandemic of the COVID-19. At that time, we are not in the position of having the, any kinds of things. We are not having the kids, testing kids. We don't have the other kids' masks and other kids and sanitizers and all these things sufficiently. But it is the necessity of the time. That is why it has been the potential the research has been conducted. And by the encouragement of our honorable dynamic Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the, so within two years, we became quite self-sufficient. So to address these challenges of this pandemic, not only in terms of the, having the kids and all these things, rather we are having the indigenous discovery of the vaccines and we became able and capable to export the things to more than 100 countries today. The similarly things have been done, not only the inception of artificial intelligence from 1960, generally in India, the research institution have started utilization of the computers. The first second generation computer got available at Indian Statistical Institute Barakpur in the year 1956, which have been kept in the ISI till today within the glass frame as a showcase. And in some 60s, the IIT, the defense organization, the space research organization, all have started the computing. And we entered to the, having the era of the scientific computing but scientific computing, where the volume of data was quite less, the involvement of data was quite less in the scientific computing, but the volume of calculations were quite huge and the nature of calculations were complicated. And for example, you see, if you will have to compute the value of sine x, only one input to be given x value, but the calculations are thousands and thousands to get the value of the sine x. That was the nature. That is why I have told that we dealt with the isolated data in 60, but what happened to the 70s after the launching, successful launching of the third generation computer, as well as the early inception of the fourth generation computer, the business houses started computing in India, and Tata Steel was the first business house which has got, um, which has started the computing three business application that to payroll system, inventory system, as well as finance accounting system. And after that, the business computing era had started. But one of the typical differences that happened, and that is the I'm going to just to the background of the data, big data and data science, the business computing, the natures became quite reversed so far as the scientific computing is concerned. In scientific computing, very less volume of data, but more volume of computation and complexity of the computation. But in business processing, there is more volume of data, but comparatively less volume of calculation, as well as the calculations are quite easy. And for example, you can have a payroll system where we have the volume of data regarding the employee, 
but calculations are BA calculation, HRA calculation, which are very simple calculation, only the arithmetical calculation and calculations are comparatively less. But in the late 70s, the business field environment got the competition and multi-branded products got launched. And after that, when the competition becomes huge, the subjects like the marketing research has got entered. If anybody had the, having the management background, they must have observed before 30 years back, we did not have the papers in the management course curriculum like marketing research, like supply chain management, like ERP, like all these things, because that was not the need of that thing. That is why I have told the necessity, the mother of invention, but it got it when the business competition becomes more. You imagine once upon a time in 70s, we are having only one watch which was dominating to the market, that is the HMT. And somebody was using the SICO and RICO and all these things. But today, and today you can see that there are hundreds of the variety of the watch. And similarly, in the case of the shop, you see we are just using three standard shops, Lux, Liveway, and Sunlight in those days. And, but today, only Ramdev Baba is having more than 50 varieties of the shops and all these things. And when the competitiveness happened in the business environment, business market, more and more products got launched. Not only that, in many of the social sector, a lot of competition has come so that the volume of the data suddenly explodes and it ter terrifically grows. There became the exponential of growth of the data. When the volume of data becomes more, the proper data organization method was required. In 70, we tackled the business management data or business processing data by file management system. But in the 80s, we entered to the database management system, which is a better data organization capability where multiple number of interrelated files can be clubbed together to have a database. In 90, we came to the relational database management. 2000, we came to the data mining. 2005, to data warehousing. And 2010, as Sunil has told, the era of the big data has came. Because why happened? In the late, early 90s, the internet got developed and the integration of the multi millions of the network got connected. And by that information flow, taken the, the momentum, tremendous, and the information have been explored like anything. And in late 90s, the multimedia got introduced. That is, the all kinds of communication have been integrated to a single medium known as the multimedia. And the multimedia, internet, and computer, all the three devices got interconnected and the ICT concept explored, that is, information and communication technology. When you enter to the multimedia communication, what happened? That means the data has taken bigger size. Because till today we are till that time we are just only utilizing the data in the form of the uh, the form of the numeric and the alphanumeric form and all these things. But after the inclusion of the multimedia into the computer technology, data came in multi video form, audio form, voice form, sound form, text form. All the forms are there. That is why uh, so the volume of data became exponentially grown, and it was very impossible to make the systematic organization of the data in the traditional manner. And in that, that time, and what happened as a result of that, we became compelled again to have tackled this data in the form of the structured data as well as the unstructured data. And that is why that the concept of the big data evolved, which has been the capability to tackle the structured and unstructured data. And a new computing technology has came also, and new software has came also, and to dealt with the big data that is the like packages like no SQL, like Hadoop, and all we have been introduced. And side by side, what happened? The artificial intelligence which got incepted in the 1956 got empowered from time to time in the by the addition of the voice synthesis, image processing, sensor computing, and all these things, the artificial intelligence got utilized and its power has been empowered. But when this big data platform has come to tackle so many data, so voluminous data, and for making the processing and all interpretation, calculation, and manipulation, and uh, tabulation, all the operations that can be happened on the uh, big data, so there was the requirement of the inclusion of the artificial intelligence to the big data application. So that is why that has came into the evolved as the business intelligence. That means the artificial particular the form of the application of the artificial intelligence applied to tackle with the big data under the cloud computing environment became the business intelligence. And from AI, we came to the BI. From BI, we came to the CI, computational intelligence. CI, we came to the DI, the data intelligence, which has been tackled in the 
uh, data science and bi we came to the ei today that is the emotional intelligence that everybody know a lot of researches are going on the emotional intelligence and one to upon a time the people are telling computer is a very good slave but a bad master all the quality of a good slave that it works for 24 hours never feel bored it is quite obedient to other, all these computers but it was a bad master people are telling it don't have the commanding and the capability controlling capability all these things but what happened by the mean time to time computer gets so empowered it is almost is going to take the power of a human being and it is being treated as a good master today also good master today it becomes due to the integration of the voice synthesis image processing and artificial intelligence and after that the sensor computing and smart computing all became things that possible my dear friends it is the time not to go with a single computing technology it is the time to have the integration of the different kinds of computing technology came together that is why the application program interface concept and platform is a very demanding platform from the future day to come because it is the time and it is the need of the integration of the technology and for example sunil was telling of the iot you imagine when we are talking of the iot which is exploring the huge volume of data iot internet of things is not only the concern with one technology it is the, the, the embedded technology sensor technology and uh, uh, communication technology all the technologies they have been integrated together when you come to have the proper application of uh, iot and why like that this is the time which has come that is why and i am talking we are at the doorstep of the emotional intelligence emotional intelligence means the people telling computer was a very bad uh, master but the thing is that people told the computer got sensation computer get imagination computer get emotion voice computer get the sound processing capability computer get the image processing capability now it is the time computer is able to manipulate the emotion computer can able to detect the amount of love and affection flowing on my heart towards a particular person computer is able to tell what is happening what is going in my mind if this emotional intelligence will be coming into the complete implementation there will be a tremendous change in the forensic science till today the forensic science was starting after the event is occurred but after the integration of the emotional intelligence in the forensic science the forensic science will change its definition the forensic science will be commenced the detection in the forensic science will be commenced before uh, the crime is being committed that means before committing the crime the criminal mind can be studied one can study that what the mind in this particular person is possessing and before happening a crime we can be able to catch him and we can able to do him and all these things are happening i am telling and under these circumstances what happened in 14 the people 2014 the people have started of talking of the data science and when we talk of the data science and data science i tell lot of i tell one thing my dear friends you imagine not a single terminology what we are using in the computing is very new the things were what happening but the thing is that something happened some terminologies get evolved according to the technology information technology it is ka baat hum 2000 ka around mein baat karne lage kya prior to that there was no information technology information technology was existing since the inception of the mankind jab ek bachcha paida hota hai rona shuru karta hai wo mother ko information deta hai mujhe bhook lag gaya a mother isko milk feeding karta tha so information technology was not a new concept but some of the terminology we coin when the appropriate technology is available that is why we told the when the internet multimedia and computer all got together we told the concept of information technology similarly data science and what are the steps we generally involved in the data science and now the scientists telling that the life cycle of the data science and we are talking of the when to come of the life cycle of the data science it first they starts from the problem definition for a business requirement definition and after that and it comes like that and all these things that what are the but what it was also there in the previously also that is the definition phase the data collection phase the cleaning phase and all these things analysis phase and evaluation phase and communication phase all the phases were there we are doing all these things but the thing is that now this data science is being coined in the view of tackling of this big data and where the data platform is the structured and unstructured part so that is why it, that, uh, today we can tell data science is quite interdisciplinary, having the interdisciplinary approach. 
it is not it is the only the deals with the computer science and engineering rather it concern with it concern with some of the scientific methods process technical algorithms as well as uh, all the technical algorithms and all the things are there as well as statistical analysis statistical methods all the thing to be a successful uh, an data analyst and today we not only require the computing knowledge alone we might be requiring having a very scientific bent of approach computing knowledge we have the ample idea of the mathematical statistical application and proper process all these things should happen if you want to be a very effective data science analyst or data analyst and what is this the, the thing is that and it is exploring in such a way and the topic what has been kept today the data science for the business landscape and obviously as i will tell the when we talk of the application of the data science and the core the, you can tell the major and the lion share of the data science application is concerned with the business houses and business application because the volume of the data and the information which have been enhanced or grown in exponential manner in the business sector due to the competitive days whether you can tell dealing with the customers whether you can tell increasing the productivity and efficiency whether you can tell uh, enhancing the manufacturing whether you can tell predicting the business behaviors and future that is the forecasting technique everywhere this data science will play the important role without that it cannot be done and so far as the manufacturing industry is concerned what you can tell that you tell how we are leading towards the industry 4.0 rather we are talking today industry 4.0 where german has started the industry 5.0 they entered to the industry 5.0 and when we talk of the industry 4.0 that is the huge and core application of the iot to make the industry a smart industry to make the machines are the smart machine the machine will communicate with another communicate with the another machine that what will happen the machine which is dealing with the materials to supply supplying to the machine involved in the production the machine can communicate easily the material concerning machine can communicate to the production concern machine that the materials are going to be exhausted and you should stop the production after the 10 minutes and when we are talking of all these things and you imagine this is due to the explosion of the data the the use of the data the concept of the data science was what important and today we got got the knowledge more than 2 billions of the facebook is being accessed per day more than 2 billions of the facebook and in a year more than 4 trillions of the google search has been made and imagine when these kinds of communication are happening what is the involvement of the database not only that in what manner we are exploring today and you tell world is having the 7.7 billion of the population and more than 7.7 billion of the people having the mobile devices with them and even if india having 1.35 billion of population and more than 1.25 billion of the mobile devices are there internet connectivity is going in a very rapid way and india is the first in the asian country to have the greater internet penetration and all the things should be when it is happening and what a large connectivity is going on and what is been and obviously that what not only only india in particular in the world uh, in general the e governance project are being implemented very sincerely and where you are imagining under the digital india project by the end of 2022 how we can be able to provide the services at the doorstep of all the and every citizen and obviously as per as the large where wider applications will be there the volume of the structured and unstructured information gathering will be such a big way that is the proper utilization and manipulation through the data sciences are required and more obviously the student community might be having the, be there i can tell them properly the basic application of the data science is mean to make all kinds of operations that can be this is the concern with all kinds of oper operations that can be performed on the data for for the purpose of utilization and the purpose of generating the information because it is the need and when these kinds of i was telling this voluminous data and voluminous are there but manager need the information at the right time to take the right uh, right decision and it cannot be happen without the utilization of the business analytic the data proper data analytic method and interpretation of the business intelligence to the to the volume of huge volume of structured and non structured data so that the right information can be generated at the right time to provide it to the right person to take the right decision that is the requirement and the golden principle of the management 
So that is why I can simply tell it concerns with starting from the origination of the data, starting from the origination of the data, collection of the data, recording of the data, my recording of the data, then interpretation of the data, tabulation of the data, classification of the data, calculation of the data, and dissemination, communication, transmission of the data, and ultimately distribution of the information to the right person at the right time to take the right decision. That is why the emergence need of data science is there for the different kinds of business application. And that is the thing. That is the real requirement. And that you know very well what, what exponential manner we are growing. What Sunil was telling, it is zettabytes of the requirement of the storing the information. And you imagine in what way this IoT is growing in a very potent, tremendous manner. And today, by the end of 2021, and more than 35 billions of the devices have been interconnected with one another, and 68 billions of the devices have been interconnected to the internet. And we do believe that by 2025, every device will be connected with the internet. And by 2030, there will be a connection of more than 500 billion of the devices to the internet, and the device connectivity density will be 15, that means 15 per person. Imagine when these such kinds of massive my users will be there, applications will be there, and what is going to be the explosion of the data, either in structure or the unstructured manner in the coming day to come. And by 2020, end of the 2020, we are requiring to tackle this IoT connectivity, only 44 zettabytes of the storage. And Sunil had told that in 2022, it will be 80 zettabytes. Imagine within two years, the storage requirement becomes double. And imagine what way it is getting explosion, two way. And you imagine that what the 44 zettabytes of the uh, space is equivalent to, that is the total world human information system will be stored in 44 zettabytes of the data. And what big volume of the uh, information and data we are going to tackle in the future days, you can just easily imagine. Viewing all these points, and uh, I can uh, once again compliment to the organization.